Recently, I uploaded a one minute video talking about how to fix the upload crash release on Genshin Impact. So this video is meant to be more of an in-depth guide on how to fix this crash. Now I have gotten comments from people that some of these fixes have actually fixed the crash for other games like Warframe and so on. So if you are getting any sort of crashes resulting in the black box saying upload crash release, this video may have a fix for you. So I'm gonna go through several steps. Now, I just wanna say quick disclaimer on this. I'm not any sort of computer expert or anything like that. I can't guarantee that this is gonna fix it. I also wanna say that each of these fixes, while most of them don't need to be done in a particular order, I would say that each time you follow one of these steps, restart your game to see if you can experience the crash again now you really need to properly test because if you change too many things you won't be exactly sure where the fix happened all right so first things we're over on my desktop the first thing that i tell people to do click the cog wheel right here you can scroll down repair your game files once you've repaired your game files, there is this right here. It says, uh, if after repairing, you were still unable to enter the game, please try this function. After the cache is cleared, it will automatically download again the next time the game launches. So you can do the repair now, give it a test, see if it works. If it uh, crashes some more, go here, clear the resources, give it a test. And then if it crashes again, go ahead and continue here. One thing that some people do not know is that you hold shift. You can click launch while you're holding shift and it will bring up the Genshin Impact configuration screen. Now here you can change the screen resolution or the graphics quality. I have had people say that they've had success by turning the graphics quality down lower and the game wouldn't crash for them, or they would just lower the resolution here to something like 1080p um, and then maybe combined with lower graphics quality, it helped them kind of avoid the crashes in the future. So maybe that's something that you wanna try. The next thing would be to update your graphics drivers. Now, this isn't something I can necessarily show you how to do. Each person will probably have their own driver update utility. I would just throw in, throw that in Google and try to get that updated. Don't get that from any shady websites or anything like that. Make sure you go to the official website to get those drivers updated. Once you have updated those drivers, make sure to launch the game, see if it crashes and then move on from there if it keeps crashing. Of course, install Windows updates. You can get to this just by typing an update here. It's gonna pull up check for updates. Just go ahead and go here. And then yeah, check for updates. If you're all up to date, you're good. Okay, if none of this has worked for you so far, I would recommend go ahead and seeing if you can uninstall Sonic Sound Studio from your computer. Now, this is mostly gonna be a fix for people, I believe, who have an ASUS motherboard, but you can find out if you have it by typing in just Sonic here, and it, you'll see if anything related to audio, basically, right? Sonic Sound Studio. And then to uninstall that, go here, add or remove programs, locate it in your list of things here, locate it in your list, and then uninstall it. Go ahead and test Genshin, see if it worked. Another thing that you probably wanna do just to be safe is go to open your device manager and go to the audio inputs here. You might still have some remnants here from Sonic Sound Studio, so you can right click if you have the Sonic Sound Studio one. Don't do, you know, this one, I'm not gonna actually uninstall this, so don't uninstall anything here accidentally. You can start by disabling things rather than actually uninstalling them if you would like to, just to be a little more safe. But if you have anything from Sonic Sound Studio, I would recommend at least disabling the device, if not uninstalling it. Now, another thing that's been suggested, and I've kind of seen it go around my comment section on the previous video I made for this fix, you can attempt to reset the Genshin Impact registry settings. Now, this is something that can be a little bit dangerous. I'm, if you don't know a whole lot about computers or what you're doing with it necessarily, make sure to watch a video on how to do this, which I will link in the both the comment section and in the video description. There's someone who made a video on exactly how to do this. I would recommend watching someone do this because you can really do some damage to your system through the registry files. All right, and I think that covers most of the fixes that I have seen listed on the internet. I've kind of gone around and collected them from different sources and things like that and just looked at different forums and threads. If none of this has worked for you in the end, of course you can uninstall Genshin Impact and reinstall it and see if that helps as well. Now, the last thing I wanna show you guys is how to discover what is causing the crash. This is probably the most important part of the video. So if you go down here and type in percent temp, type this in, hit enter, it's gonna open up your temp folder. If you go up here and sort by date modified and then scroll down these are all you'll see all a bunch of files most likely scroll down to your actual folders down here 
you know, for today's date is what I have, Mahoyo Crash. Open that up and then actually open up the error itself. Once you've opened this up, you can see here UnityPlayer.dll caused an access violation in module Unity Player. So I know that there's some sort of problem with the UnityPlayer.dll. I can then go and throw that into Google and then continue to troubleshoot from there. So this is one way if none of the fixes have worked for you so far, you can go into your temp folder, look at the crash itself. Uh, maybe plug it into Google if you can see what's causing the issue. I'm no computer expert, so I can't necessarily answer every question about conflicting things like this, and I can't necessarily Google all of them for you, but if you do find a solution through something, please come back, comment that, let us know down below. I'd really appreciate it. Hopefully this helps somebody out there. Hopefully this was a little more comprehensive than my previous video and helps more people uh, get this problem fixed because I know this was super annoying, and even after I fixed Genshin crashing on the way into the game like uh right after the mahoyo logo i still had an issue where i'd be playing for like 40 minutes and then it would just crash on me when i was like gliding over something and i'm not really sure what caused that but um i do seem to have it fixed now after playing for several hours so again hopefully this helps somebody and i hope you have a great day make sure to like the video if it helped you out drop a subscribe if you want to see more from me and i will see you next time